Everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony, and in today's video, we're gonna try something a little bit different. So, as you may be aware from my last video, I have been made redundant. Ugh, I'm absolutely gutted. But as I said in my last video, I'm gonna try and turn a negative into a positive. Something that I learned last time that I've been made redundant, except this the second time that I've been made redundant in one year, is that if you work hard and really, really try, most of the time, I'm saying most because, you know, there are different situations, but most of the time you can come out of it in a similar or better situation. So I'm gonna start something completely new and it's gonna be almost like a weekly vlog and I'm gonna call it Ant's Antics. And I wanna kind of bring you guys along with me on my journey of how I find a new job, what I do in the process of finding a new job and kind of just look at it in a bit of an analytical way really because finding a new job is hard and it can be overwhelming and I know from the last time that I was made redundant I was so stressed, so anxious and some of the kind of things that I was doing alleviated that stress and anxiety so today I've got a bit of a list of things that I want to do so I've got my laptop here and I kind of wanted to show you a little spreadsheet that I've been working on. And I know that isn't like sexy or glamorous, but a spreadsheet really helps when you're looking for a job search because you can put all your stuff in that spreadsheet. And if you've applied for it once before, you don't apply again. And that keeps you looking professional. Let me just quickly show you this spreadsheet. I'll pull it up. And I've called it Job Application 2020. It's color coded, so open applications, I've got a chase applications, interview stage, and not proceeding. As you can see, I've already got three things there that are not proceeding. So one was an EA office manager job, and another two were reaching out, because I really feel like it's very important when you are searching for a job is to reach out to contacts. So this is my job application. As you can see, I've applied for about 10 to 15 jobs so far, and I got made redundant on Wednesday. It is now Monday. So fingers crossed a few of these people get back to me. But really what I wanna do today is, because I've applied for so many jobs in a short amount of time, what I wanna do now is focus on getting all my side hustles up to scratch. So what I'm gonna be doing over the next day is I'm gonna be uploading stuff on Shutterstock, uploading stuff on Etsy, and making sure all of that's working in the background because at the moment that's my only source of income. If you wanna know how to upload stuff to Etsy and all of that, then let me know. Okay, so I'm just gonna start working on some Etsy bits now. Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday and yesterday was not as productive as I would have liked but as I said I have already applied for like 14-ish jobs so that's really good and I did actually get out and see some family yesterday, socially distanced obviously but um, it was a really nice day to be honest and I think considering I got made redundant on Wednesday and now I've already applied 14 jobs. So far, it's so good. I just wanna say you need to be as positive as possible when applying for these jobs. Just keep applying and make sure that you're applying for the right type of roles. Just have a little bit of my tea. Oh! Mm. Now, let me just say something very exciting happened this morning. So, itchy nose. As I woke up, I got an email from one of the jobs that I had applied for saying that they really like my CV and really like the examples of work that I've sent over and they would like an initial phone interview with me. Now, if you've seen my whole series on how to get a job in fashion, you will know that the first stage in any fashion design interview is a phone interview. So, this Thursday, I will be having a phone interview, which I'm really excited for. It's actually for quite a premium high street brand and I'm just really excited because the brand that I've wanted work for for quite a while. So fingers crossed, hopefully my job hunt will come to an end sooner rather than later, but I don't want to jinx it. So let's just see. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on and search and apply for some jobs. So let's go and do that. Ugh. By the way, I'm staying at my parents' house. 
which is super nice and I kind of needed to come home just because you know sometimes being with your family is the best thing and what's really good is there is a dog in the house and his name is Bruce say hi Bruce say hi back to my home oh I forgot my laptop oh, okay so I am back with my laptop so I'm just gonna sit here and apply for jobs for the next hour or so and see what's about and then I'm gonna edit a video for the rest of the day Oh, okay, so I've just finished looking for jobs and I've been doing it for about an hour and I can't really find anything at the moment. There's not really many jobs out there in fashion, so what I really need to do is really look at my CV and edit it so I can apply for other positions that aren't fashion related just to tide me over for the next few months. But for now, I'm gonna stop job hunting. I'm just gonna edit maybe a little bit of one of my videos and then in a bit, I'm gonna go meet my friend for a coffee. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is Wednesday and yesterday I didn't feel like I was that productive. So I've made a list. And what I wanna get done today is I wanna research into the job that I'm going for. So I wanna do a bit of a SWOT analysis. If you don't know what SWOT analysis is, it's strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. I really feel like a list is really important to just get stuff going in the day. So also, I'm gonna try and find and apply for at least two jobs today, and I'm gonna begin to collate my portfolio together in one PDF, because it's in so many different PDFs, it's different projects and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna pull that all together, because at the moment, interviews are gonna be taking place virtually. So I just want one clean document that can just scroll through and make it look beautiful. Along with that, I'm obviously recording now, but I also want to record one more fashion video so I can post that tomorrow. And then I also want to edit the video today. So I've got a busy day and I just need to get started really. So let's go. Today has been very, very busy. What have I done? Oh God, I've done so much. So filmed and edited a video. I did all the stuff for it behind the scenes. That video is actually gonna come out before this video. It's coming out tomorrow. I actually found three jobs to apply for, which is great. Very happy with that. And I managed to do a little bit of research for my interview tomorrow. But I'm gonna really, really try hard to get the research done more in the morning and then pull together my portfolio before the interview. That is my day done so now i'm just gonna watch some netflix and chill all right see you tomorrow good morning everyone today is thursday and it's a very exciting day but a very busy day oh. so today i've got my interview it's later at 4 30 so i really do need to research in and do that swot analysis i also need to pull together my portfolio and just get that in one document or at least copy all the documents onto my desktop so at least they're there and ready just in case they are asked for. I've also expanded on my list and crossed off where I've already done. So obviously I've got them two things, the interview, the portfolio. I've also got a video going live today at two. So I need to do all the social media bits and bobs for that in the background, post it on my Instagram and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, so busy day. So the first things first, I'm just gonna go downstairs and start working on the portfolio and research bits. Hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, okay, so at this point guys, I have pulled off all of my documents and I've put them on my desktop and now I'm gonna collate them into one. Okay, so really annoying, I have to pay to combine all of my documents on the Acrobat Reader. I don't wanna pay 15 99 a month, so I'm just gonna open it in Illustrator and combine it that way, which is really annoying.
Okay, so it's been an hour since I launched my video today and it's gone really well so far. And also I've just finished doing all of my research for my interview. So I'm really happy with that. I'm probably just gonna take an hour just to really get into it and see if I've missed anything. But so far, so good. I feel very prepared for my interview. Ah, okay, clearly I was speaking way too soon. I was meant to have my interview at 4.30 and unfortunately that's not happened. I'm absolutely gutted because I really, really want this job. Um, the reason it didn't happen is because I didn't understand that at the bottom of the email that I originally had was a hyperlink that was disguised in a signature almost looking thing. And all I had to do was click on that and it would have taken me to a window to the interview. When the interview was meant to start, I waited 10 minutes, emailed him again. He was just saying, oh, I was just about to email you. And now it's five past five and clearly the window for the interview has gone. I'm just about to email him and say, please can we do the interview tomorrow because I really do want this job. So I'm gonna go have a cup of tea and drown my sorrows in that. But fingers crossed, I can have the interview tomorrow. Morning guys, it is Friday. Woo, Friday feeling. Okay, so I've already emailed the guy this morning. I was gonna do it last night, but I just thought I didn't wanna bombard him with loads of emails. So I've emailed him this morning and hopefully I can get a redo on my interview. Oh. Today's gonna to be a bit more of a social day. I am gonna go visit a friend and have a social distance barbecue. And also I'm gonna go for a meal tonight. Then throughout the day, I am gonna come back here and I'm gonna try and edit a couple of videos. And also I'm gonna to try to apply for another one job at least today. But before we get started on any of that, I am gonna make a tea. Perfect. Mm, delicious. Now, I don't know whether I'll vlog the meal later or the barbecue. I'm actually really enjoying this kind of vlog style. It's more off the cuff and I haven't really got to sit down and have scripts and all of that sort of stuff. So it's actually quite nice. But yeah, let's crack on with my day. Hey everyone, so just being my friend's house and whew, it is boiling. That barbecue was delish though. So now I'm just walking home. Shouldn't live that far, about a 15 minute walk away. It's quite nice to tread the old ground of where I used to go to school. My whole school's back there. But yeah, it's nice. I think once I get home, what I'm gonna do is figure out some stuff and edit some videos. And then also, I really do need to apply for one more job. If I can just get that one more job, I think I'd feel so much better, but yeah. Alright guys, okay I'm so excited. So I was looking for jobs and I came across a really good position. It's freelance which is great and it's for a cold wall which I think I'd be really good there so hopefully they get back to me. So I've found the job that I'm applying for today. So I'm really happy with that. So this brings me to the end of my first week of Ants and Tits. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. Please also leave a comment. I really do like to chat to you guys and build a community of fashion lovers where we all get together and just have a bit of a chat. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll leave all my links here and down below. Please, please, please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy cads and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Cha, cha, cha. Bye.